All right, so the new issue is that back here, right behind the cylinder, uh, I'm gonna turn on the flash, hold up. So my problem now is behind the cylinder was corroded. It's on this side and uh, so it won't let the cylinder, it won't let me pull it out. So I'm gonna put some PB blast and uh, a bit of sandpaper maybe and then just uh, get it out. I don't want to scratch this guy too much. Um, so yeah. All right, so we got it out. The piston is actually in a pretty good shape. Oops. Uh, just the top really has corrosion. The rest looks very, very good. I don't even think I'm gonna change the rings, keep it as cheap as possible. Okay, so the cylinders have been removed. This piston as well is in very, very good condition. Um, so I don't think there'll be anywhere uh, where I'm gonna have to change actual hardware. Um, it's really just gonna be a job where uh, I clean with a wire brush, uh, some places, you know, sandpaper, whatever, and uh, just slap it back together. Uh, Probably gonna make some gaskets, but then again, depending on the price, uh, might just be cheaper uh, to buy them. All right, got the back cover off. So there's still uh, some oil at the bottom there, and uh, there's this little guy here, an O-ring. I guess this uh, creates a positive pressure in the crankcase. Uh, I'm guessing, uh, I have no clue to be honest. And uh, I guess it goes back into this guy, and that connects to one of the heads. So it just pops in there, like this. So I'm gonna take off these two bolts here. And so I'll just push it through here. There we go. All right. So they went like that. This guy is spring loaded. <laughs> okay. So, I decided to put the sheave on, just part way, and uh, it's enough friction to just uh, barely get them loose. And then once they're cracked, uh, I can take the sheave off and just counter hold by hand. All right, so as you can see, that has worked. All right, so cleaning up the cylinder bores. Uh, this one's not too bad, but uh, this one's gonna need a lot of work because this was directly exposed to the rain uh, with this elbow that I broke, sadly. Uh, so this was kind of like this, and uh, all the rain accumulated, and then it uh, went through the reed valves, and then into the cylinder, and it just completely corroded this out. So, um, I'm going to try and clean it up with sandpaper as much as I can and then go with the hone and uh, clean up the whole bore. All right, so here we are doing the honing. Just put some ATF and going back and forth. 
along that whole board. <laughs> 